According to Anish Giri, the subject of today's video is the worst gambit in all of chess. But I think I'll let you decide for yourselves. So yesterday, I asked you guys about the most iconic chess gambit, and unsurprisingly, many of you chose the Coca-Cola gambit. Which by the way is actually a thing. And since I'm pretty sure 95% of you have no idea what that is, I thought I should make a quick intro about it. To play this gambit, you first have to play g4, which is called the grob opening. A very famous opening played once by a man with a pineapple shirt. He used it in a game against another super grandmaster in 2019, and the game ended in a draw. Unfortunately, in the game his opponent played the best move which is d5, which doesn't allow white to play the coca-cola gambit. So in order for it to be possible, black has to play g5. The double grob. I did find a grandmaster game in which this variation was played, but sadly, white was not a man of culture, and played h4. Instead of h4, he should have played f4, going into the reputable coca-cola gambit. Now as you can see, Stockfish hates it. But the best line according to the engine is honestly not terrible for white. It recommends that black accepts the gambit, then after white plays d4, black plays e5, then h4, d6, then the queens get traded. Then, white strikes in the middle with e3, and black takes on g4, and white takes on f4. The result is a better endgame for black, but they would still need to convert this advantage, which is not as simple as it sounds especially at lower levels. You can also keep the queens on the board for more tactics and comeback potential, and play like white played in this correspondence game. Instead of d4, they played bishop to g2. And after e5, h4. Then, they played g5 on the next move. And after one inaccurate move from the opponent, the game is equal again, and the kingside pawns have now become a strength, rather than a weakness. If you enjoyed the video check out more content on the channel.